Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Hmm. Well, I'm finna try to see if I can educate some of y'all. Well, most of y'all, but some of y'all might know. Hopefully, you know. Now, let me, I'm finna educate y'all with the difference between horoscopes and extra astrology, or more likely, the zodiac. You know, there's a difference between horoscopes. In astrology now here's the problem that's you know why people are not and I'm trying to encourage people to you know research uh, the you know book of Enoch because the book of Enoch you know goal was to you know um, bring down the heavenly tablets and the thing is you know people are not trying to look at the heavenly tablets and see what it's really all about, you know. I mean, well, see what they're not trying to figure out what's why Enoch is not in the Bible. Enoch plays understanding who Enoch is and what he's all about plays a significant role of every religion that is in the world. Every everything, everything negative that's going on wrong in the world is based upon Enoch. You know what I'm saying? That people don't know about. Even everything concerning the kingdom of darkness, you know, Enoch plays a role of them, you are realizing what the true significant plan that, you know, darkness had to either take, you know, territory of the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's all in Enoch. You know what I'm saying? Of understanding Enoch that is not in the Bible because, you know, Hey, Satan plays dirty, you know? He gonna play dirty. <laughs> but the thing is, astrology, you know, came from the Zodiac. And the Zodiac was given f to Enoch. It's called the Heavenly Tablets, you know? Do your research. Um, the, it shows, you know, the sign, sign the, 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 you know, like you see the animals and you see the human beings on the Zodiac. It's supposed to describe as ideal concerning you know the divine of his his divine plan we can see the his divine plan in the heavens because of course he's in heaven right you know he put the stars up to design his divine plan it's just a matter of how we look at it and see it we can you know understand where it what it is and what it's all about you know concerning what you know God you know told how y'all doing Adam and Eve you know, about the seed of the woman shall bruise the serpent head, you know. And he's, he, everybody's like, hmm, what's he doing? No, it's right designed in the heavens, you know. You know, there's the plan of God is designed in the heavens. And the thing is, we have to recognize if the plan is, you know, what it's all about, you know. How you doing? How you doing? And the thing is, if we don't understand, you know, the what it's all about, then... We it, it will be more simple, more likely. But the thing is, the, of course, darkness, you know, after the flood, took took the reality of Enoch and made it and utilized it for its own benefits to, you know, uh, put name this the with the uh, zodiac out of you know the the god the evil spirits and the you know well giants that became evil spirits and the, the gods the gods and goddesses named them out of after all those images you know what i'm saying they took these images and they named them you know they uh named them themselves and people like you know oh that's not significant you know for a spirit world well when you start you know really supposed to you know <laughs> Seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness that is supposed to lead you to seek out what's going on in heaven. You know what I'm saying? What, what's up with heaven? I, what's going on on earth? But what's up in heaven if you're seeking correctly? But the thing is, you know, it, it plays an important role to understand the plan that we're supposed to look at the kingdom of God and, you know, and learn it so we can, you know, find ourselves, you know, in the plan, in the divine plan of God, you know, God's plan is bigger than the earth, you know. Hello, how y'all doing? Hey, I'm on YouTube. I hope you check me out. It's called Mac, M-A-C-K, Johnson, The Reality. Check it out. Thank you.
Um, you know, the thing is, it's just people are not trying to understand the, you know, what happened in those times that darkness went and stole concerning the uh, Egyptians, you know. They stole really the ideas of the Sethians and, you know. Hello, how you doing? You have one for that? Get ready for the kingdom, right? <laughs> but uh, the thing is, you know, um, you know, get, you're supposed to see what's going on in the stars because how many times they have to echo since the beginning. Jesus said that, you know, that uh, see the signs in the heavens, you know, there shall be signs in the heavens. Right now, automatic, they're supposed to say, oh, that's talking about the zodiac, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they done, you know, the world done darkened it up and got these things called horoscopes, which associates with the god of Horus, the sun god that, you know, they worship, you know, a.k.a. the spirit of Antichrist. Um, that the occultists, you know, everybody, Illuminati, Freemasons, they worship and try to establish, you know, his idea of this world to keep it in darkness so, you know, people won't see the light and operating God's divine plan is they're using the pyramids of course they're using the pyramids that they didn't build you know and putting the eye of Horus up in there I tell people really the the eye and the pyramid is not evil you know because it's the eye represents the pineal gland that Jesus talked about in Matthew 6 you know uh, 21 I think and and 22 talks about the eye. If you darken up the eye, you get darkness all over your body. If you lighten up the eye, you get light in your body. That's what it's clearly talking about. Darkness is using the eye and the pyramid to concerning their actions. They show forth darkness. They want it to get to that eye gland, pineal gland, so you can continue, you know, shoot darkness inside your body that you will respond to darkness and have you doing dark things, you know? Simple as that. But they're utilizing the, the, the structure of the Great Pyramids to, you know, gain power because it, it was a powerful thing or, or according to Isaiah, you know, 19, it's called the Pillars of Enoch, you know what I'm saying? And, well, it, Pillars of the Lord, but we know Enoch built them, you know, the people of Enoch is concerning the set things. But the thing is, when you don't try to, you know, understand all this, you know, and keep on following the out of order system. Hello, how you doing? Beautiful dog. Following that out of order system, you know what I'm saying? You will not see the stuff that I'm telling you. You know, y'all, people living according too much according to the earth. It's just too much according to the earth. It's just nuts how people are accepting the reality of, I mean, like, this is the idea I got from where I'm at. It's too much error. It's just too much error going on in the earth to say that whatever system is over the earth is being successful it's just too much error you know y'all say the politics or whoever you know that is running this earth system it's too much error going on to say that these forces these powers or these you know politicians whatever is running it doing it right there's too much error going on you know what i'm saying too much but people are not looking at it that way they're not accepting the error you know what i'm saying they're not accepting that error is going on and it's too much of it and they're not saying they're saying oh it's the this is the way it's supposed to be it's supposed to be so dark people are supposed to be crazy people are supposed to be killing people you know we accept you know they, they they want us to accept all this negativity going on to say well the correct people that are in power that you and influence is doing a great job you know what i'm saying and making the world you know wonderful and it clearly it's a lie i mean but they're trying to make you accept the lie through you know popularity of fashion of of you know music and all kind of sorts you know what I'm saying to make you adapt to this wrong reality so you don't see the truth of reality that's there it's there you just you know busy trying to like i say a fool will go seek after his own truth you know there's no such thing of finding your own truth you can only find the truth of you know god concerning what he created you know what i'm saying you didn't create anything you came out of a womb you didn't create you, you know the, your earth and everything else and then come out the womb and say okay let me go live in my earth the way i want to live it that's a foolish thought 
But the thing is, we got to realize that, you know, a creator created this place and we got to figure out his truth. We got to figure out his righteousness and live according to it to find out what we're supposed to do and what everything is supposed to be. And that's how it really go work. But, you know, all this kind of crazy stuff. Hey, how y'all doing? Wonderful day. Enjoy it. Be blessed. Catch some wonderful fish if you can. Later. But uh, that's what's up, you know. And the thing is, uh, astrology, they're using these evil spirits, you know, to penetrate. They're using astrology as, or horoscopes. Horus, you know, the sun god, you know, Sunday god. Uh, they're trying to use to influence you the wrong, to, to really something consider it's going to anything that's or darkness going to be about your flesh anyway it show you that you can live and do things the way you want to do it do what you want to do whatever be with someone whatever you want to be and you know try to have a sense of truth that ain't gonna really make sense so understand that how y'all doing guys hey i'm on youtube it's called mac m-a-c-k like the mat truck johnson the reality check it out yeah be blessed i hope you get right and showing people reality, you know. Uh, I hope you just check it out. Uh, have a good day, sir. Uh, you too. All right. Well, that, you know, and that's what you have to understand. And I hope you understand the message. I hope you make sense to it because here's the thing about what's going on. It's going to happen pretty soon. Uh, we're in the stage of, 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 of Virgo. Virgo, we're leaving a lion to Virgo. And it's going to some great events going to happen. Hello, how you doing? And the thing is, those events are going to happen. It's going to change the whole world. It's going to, the world is going to change very soon this year. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have told you this like early on this year, but God, now I'm revealing it now. I got to give it to you now. And, and things are going to drastically change this coming day, these coming months concerning Virgo. Virgos are very important, you know, and the Illuminati know it's an important, you know, year for them. And for darkness, and it's important for the light too, because that's when you know it's gonna the whole is everything's gonna what's been hidden in the darkness is gonna come out in the light, and you're gonna get ready for something quite human history. This is gonna be human history that's gonna take place on this earth. So get ready for it. It's gonna be very spectacular. Guarantee. I can guarantee it will be spectacular. But just wanted you to prepare for it because that's what I'm trying to help you out to see and research it. Research it. I just want you to research this stuff, y'all, and find out the truth. If I'm lying, I'm lying. If, I, if the truth is true, that's how I look at it. But don't sit up here and start accepting everything a, a lying system keep, you know, giving you. That's what irritates me. Y'all accept so much stuff and there's so many negative things are going on in this world and you just accept so much what the... You know, the world is telling you, it's just driving me nuts watching y'all look at these people and just accept it and not trying to figure out in your spirit and what's really going on concerning God and heaven. But that's another message, but that's it. That's all I got to say. All right, to God be the glory to him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.